This is Alex from the Mad Guys, and today I'm going to be talking about Sausage Party because I didn't see it two weeks ago when it came out. Sausage Party is an R-rated animated comedy featuring the voices of Seth Rogen, Edward Norton, Michael Sarah, Jonah Hill, Paul Rudd, Danny McBride, Craig Robinson, James Franco, Kristen Wiig, Salma Hayek. The film was released on August 12th. It's about 89 minutes, an hour and 29 minutes. Uh... It's released by Annapurna Pictures, distributed by Columbia Pictures. The movie is directed by Greg Tiernan and Conrad Vernon, and it's written by Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg. The movie is animated. It is rated R for strong, crude sexual content, pervasive language, and drug use. So in other words, yeah, don't take your kids to see this movie. And Sausage Party shows you the sausage named Frank, who's voiced by Seth Rogen, and all the other foods at the grocery store who wonder what it's like when they're selected by humans, they believe they're going to the great beyond. But Frank has evidence that they're just getting chopped up and eaten and tortured by humans, so they want to get back at the humans. And all this chaos just ensues. Now, I'm not going to lie, I, I do like Seth Rogen comedies. I know a lot of people don't, and that's fine. I understand why, because some of the humor is a bit dry at times, but I laugh my ass off for the majority of this movie. As long as you make me laugh, I'm happy. This movie has some really good characters. The character of Brenda, played by Kristen Wiig, kind of annoying. Other than that, I really like Frank, I really like Sammy Bagel Jr., I really like Carl. All the other characters in there were really interesting and really funny. My favorite was Sammy Bagel Jr., and I think it's because it was Edward Norton. Edward Norton voiced him. That's like, if you have Edward Norton voicing a bagel, that's just gold right there. If you don't know who Edward Norton, a three-time Oscar nominee and one of the best actors God ever put on this earth, is... I have no sympathy for you. This one he really nailed and I was happy. I was like, finally, a Seth Rogen movie where he nails his character. The animation for this movie is clean, it's smooth, it looks good. You know, some of the... Human designs, you know, not not the human designs for an animated movie that you would think, but it works, and it was really smooth, looked good, I didn't notice anything that really looked out of sync, or just looked awful, it, it all looked pretty clean. Beginning and the end, hilarious as hell, laughing my ass off, the funniest parts of the movie. I have two big complaints with this film though, and that is the second act of the movie. The second act of the movie, while funny isn't as funny as the first act or the third act. Those two acts are really the big funny parts of the movie. The second act really takes like this weird twist and grinds the movie to a halt. It's kind of like this dark comedy twist in the second act of the movie. I was still laughing and having a lot of fun, but not as much fun as I was having in the first act or the third act of the movie. It's Like I said, it took this weird dark comedy twist, and I just don't think that that really fit in with the tone of the movie like I get the message that the movie is trying to convey and that is these sausages all these different types of food think that humans are gods and quite frankly we're not I get that but they kind of put just a touch of a dark twist in the middle there and I was just like I don't really like that this is still laughing in the middle of the movie but Despite that, I wasn't laughing as much as I feel like I should have in that part of the movie. It was mostly the beginning and the end that were the funniest parts. I should have laughed more, I feel like, in the middle. Because the middle middle just kind of ground to a halt. Kind of slowed the movie down. One of the movie, definitely not very memorable. I think the movie could have just canned that aspect entirely. It was just a typical revenge aspect thing. Oh, you did something bad to me, now I hate you. Let's go and get revenge on you. You could have just canned that whole thing. That whole thing didn't have to be in the movie. Didn't really add anything to the movie. The stakes weren't, you know, high. They It didn't add any stakes. More of a forgettable villain and not very memorable. I'm not going to remember anything this guy did in this movie in like a day. The same can be said for most of the villains of 2016 and all those big budget blockbusters and small films, with the exception of Apocalypse from X-Men Apocalypse and Ajax from Deadpool. A lot of weak villains this year in film, unfortunately. Guys, that's my review of Sausage Party. It's a simple movie. It's an animated R-rated comedy that's raunchy, hilarious, and entertaining. 
but does falter in the second act and really has a weak villain. I, I'm i going to say, though, that I did laugh and I did find the movie entertaining. So, got to give the movie props for that. All right, so my question to you now is, have you seen Sausage Party? If you have, we want to know what you think. Drop us a comment in the comment section below. And for more news and reviews on movies and all that fun stuff, you can find us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and go insane for the mad guys. Soon in the month of October, Patrick should be coming on next week to review a couple things. Month of October, he and I are going to review a select few horror movies. He's going to do some, I'm going to do some psychological thrillers, horrors, you know, slasher throughout the whole entire month of October because, you know, it's Halloween and it's going to be fun to review all those and review some bad ones hopefully so we can just talk shit about them anywho you got the message so we'll see you later